Hello everyone, Namaste. Welcome back to my channel Academic Tuber. Today we are going to discuss Unit 15 from Grade 9 Science that is Chemical Reaction. Before that, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe this channel and for more updates hit the bell icon. If you want more videos related to this, please like and do share these videos among your friends and don't forget to give your valuable response in comment section. Here in this unit, we are going to discuss uh, chemical reaction, uh, ways to write chemical reaction, types of chemical reaction, balance and unbalanced chemical equation, uh, importance of chemical reaction in daily life, endothermic and exothermic reaction. The conversion of one form of things into another is called change. The change can be categorized into two types, physical change and chemical change. Physical change. A physical change is a temporary change in which no new substance is formed. Some examples of physical change are as follows. Melting of ice into water, evaporation of water into vapor, dissolving salt into water, tearing paper into pieces, making sickle from iron rod, magnetizing an iron nail, making shot from raw cloth, melting ghee into liquid state. Characteristics of physical change. It is temporary change. No new substance is formed. Change can be reversed. It involves change in shape, size, volume, instead of matter, etc. There is no change in energy. Chemical change. A chemical change is permanent change in which an entirely new substance with new properties is formed. Some examples of chemical change are burning of iron, roasting of iron, turning of milk into cod, digestion of food into in our body, growth of baby into adult, electrolysis of water, etc. Characteristics of chemical change. It is permanent change, new substance is formed, change cannot be reversed, it involves change in molecular level of matter, there is change in energy and mass. Chemical reaction. A chemical reaction is a chemical change in which combination, decomposition, or exchange of molecules of matter takes place. The chemical reaction can be represented by using symbols of atoms and molecular formula of molecules. Chemical equation. The symbolic representation of actual chemical reaction in terms of symbols and formula is called chemical equation. There are two types of chemical equation on the basis of the way of representation. They are word equation symbolic or formula equation word equation the word equation is a form of chemical equation in which is represented by writing the full name of reactants and products the substances which undergo the chemical change are called reactants they are written on the left hand side of chemical equation similarly the substances which are produced as a result of chemical change is in the reactants are called products they are written on the right hand side of chemical equation. Some examples of word equation are as follows. Hydrogen plus oxygen gives water. Carbon plus hydrogen gives methane. Carbon plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide. Calcium carbonate on decomposition gives calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Symbolic equation or formula equation. Symbolic equation is a form of chemical equation which is represented by writing the symbols and formula of reactants and products. Some examples of symbolic equation are as follows. 2S2 plus O2 gives 2SO, C plus 2S2 gives CS4, 2KClO3 gives 2KCl plus 3O2. The physical states of the reactants and products can be represented by using symbols. For example, calcium carbonate, when heated, get decomposed into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Here, so yes means solid and G means gas. Heat required for the reaction is represented by delta above the arrow. When calcium carbonate is heated, it decomposes to give calcium oxide and carbon dioxide endothermic and exothermic reactions the chemical reaction which needs heat is called endothermic reaction for example 2 kclo3 on heating get decomposed into 2 kcl plus 3o2 calcium carb calcium carbonate cso3 on heating get decomposed into 
CaO calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. A chemical reaction in which heat is produced is called endothermic reaction. For example, CH4 plus 2O2 gives CO2 plus 2H2O plus heat. CaO plus H2O gives CaOSO2 plus heat. C plus O2 gives CO2 plus heat. These were the few examples of exothermic reaction. Reversible and irreversible reactions. A chemical reaction in which reactants are changed into products and the products can change back into reactants are called reversible reaction. Reversible reaction is denoted by arrow that point forward and backward. For example, N2 plus 3 has to give 2 NS3. A chemical reaction which occurs in only one direction that is reacting to products is called irreversible reaction. Irreversible reaction are represented by an arrowhead. 2 h 2 plus O2 gives 2 h 2 CaCO3 on heating gets decomposed into CaO plus CO2. Unbalance and balance chemical equation. The chemical equation which has unequal number of atoms in the reactants and product side is called unbalanced chemical equation. Such equations are also called escalator chemical equation. For example, S2 plus O2 gives S2O, Na plus Cl2 gives NaCl. The chemical equation which has equal number of atoms in reactant and product side is called balanced chemical equation. For example, 2S2 plus O2 gives 2S2O, CS4 plus 2O2 gives CO2 plus 2S2O. Diatomic elements. The elements whose molecules are made up of two atoms are called diatomic elements. When diatomic elements take part in reaction, they are always represented in molecule form hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, iodine, and bromine are the diatomic elements. They are written as S2N2, O2, F2, Cl2, I2, and Br2, respectively. Methods of writing chemical equation. First of all, we are going to write the equation in words. The name of reactant on left hand side of arrow and that of product on the right hand side. Hydrogen plus chlorine gives hydrochloric acid. Now we are going to rewrite the equation in symbolic form. S2 plus Cl2 gives HCl. Now if the equation obtained is not balanced equation, we are going we are going to balance it by counting the number of atoms in each side uh, and writing a numerical coefficient where it is necessary. S2 plus Cl2 gives 2 HCl. If any condition are necessary for the reaction, write it above the arrow. Thus, a required equation is obtained. S2 plus Cl2 in presence of sunlight gives 2 HCl. Some other examples. Word equation. Zinc plus dilute sulfuric acid gives zinc sulfate plus hydrogen. Chemical equation. Zn plus uh, dilute S2SO4 gives Zn SO4 plus S2. Word equation. Potassium chloride gives potassium chloride plus oxygen. Skeletal equation. KClO3 gives KCl plus O2. Balance equation. 2KClO3 gives 2KCl plus 3O2. Word equation hydrogen peroxide in presence of manganese dioxide gives water plus oxygen. Skeletal equation yes to yes to O2 in presence of MnO2 gives yes to O plus O2. Balance equation 2 yes to O2 gives 2 yes to O plus O2 in presence of manganese dioxide. Word equation sodium chloride plus silver nitrate gives sodium nitrate plus silver chloride. Chemical equation NaCl plus AgNO3 gives NaNO3 plus AgCl. Now we are going to discuss some of the information given by the balanced chemical equation. It represents the name of reactants and products. It shows the exact amount of reactants and products. It represents the ratio of molecular weight of the reactants and products separately. It can show the conditions required for the chemical reaction like heat, light, catalyst, etc. It can so the type of chemical reaction. Limitation of chemical equation. It does not show the physical state of reactants and products. It does not show the rate of reaction. It does not show the concentration of reactants and products. It does not show the reversible and irreversible nature of the reaction. It does not show the exothermic and endothermic nature of the reaction. 
इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शन इन डेली लाइफ केमिकल रिएक्शन केमिकल रिएक्शन हेल्प्स इन प्रिपरेशन ऑफ फूड ड्यूरिंग फोटोसेंथिस दे हेल्प्स इन प्रोडक्शन ऑफ फ्रूट एंड सेल्स यूज ऑफ न्यूट्रिएंट्स एंड फर्टिलाइजर्स फॉर हेल्थी ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट मेनी इंपोर्टेंट केमिकल रिएक्शन अफेक्ट आवर डेली लाइफ एज दे कम ऑन द मेटाबोलिज्म एक्सक्रेशन सर्कुलेशन एंड रेस्पिरेशन केमिकल रिएक्शन हेल्प्स टू सॉल्व क्राइम्स एंड एक्सप्लेन मिस्ट्रीज बाय एनालाइजिंग ब्लड एंड टिश्यू सैम्पल्स वी रेस्पायर इन ऑक्सीजन दैट कीप्स ऑस अलाइव एज इट मेटाबोलाइज food we eat which is digested by series of chemical reaction in our body the energy released by the oxidation of food during respiration can be used by our cells to carry out most of the chemical processes needed for life our nerves work by pumping sodium and potassium across the membrane which is due to the chemical reaction cooking eating seeing hearing exercising initiate metabolism which is more or less a group of chemical reactions Many medicines, drugs, insecticides, fragrances, compounds, dyes, paints, solvents, fertilizers, plastic, textile, etc., are used to are useful to mankind. They are manufactured using many chemical reactions. Chemical reactions are the source of energy production. For example, firewood, petroleum, natural gas, uh, biogas, combustion, etc. Catalyst. A catalyst is a chemical substance which increases or decreases the rate of chemical reaction without being consume yourself the process of changing the rate of chemical reaction by the use of catalyst is called catalysis many chemical reaction takes place in the presence of catalyst the catalyst can be classified into two types they are positive and negative positive catalyst the catalyst which increases the rate of chemical reaction without being consumed itself is called positive catalyst for example manganese dioxide yamno2 also acts as positive catalyst in the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide as so too 2H2O2 in the presence of catalyst manganese dioxide gives 2H2O plus O2. Negative catalyst. A catalyst which decreases the rate of chemical reaction without being consumed itself is called negative catalyst. For an example, glycerin or phosphoric acid acts as a negative catalyst in the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. 2H2O2 in presence of glycerin gives 2H2O plus O2. So here are some questions uh, related with this uh, unit. What happens when magnesium bonds in oxygen? When magnesium bonds in oxygen, it gives man magnesium oxide. 2Mg plus O2 gives 2MgO. Magnesium plus oxygen gives magnesium oxide. Why is it necessary to balance a chemical equation? According to law of conservation of mass, the amount of mass can neither be created nor be destroyed, but remain constant before and after the chemical reaction. So to make an equal mass in reactants and products it is necessary to balance a chemical equation. Meaning of different symbols in chemical reaction. Yes, solid state of substance. G gaseous state of substance. AQ solution in water. Arrowhead irreversible reaction. Delta heat. Arrow pointing to side reversible reaction. Arrow vertically downward represents happy salt product or residue or precipitate. Arrow vertically upward represents gaseous product. By this we have completed notes of this unit chemical reaction. I hope this video was useful to you. If you like this video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Hope to get your suggestion regarding this video in comment section. See you on next video. Thank you.